What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial. Sorry I've been away for about a month. I think it's been more than a month since I recorded any videos. I, I had gotten busy in, in some work so didn't get a chance to record. But I'm back. So yeah, today I'm going to teach you how to add support for joysticks to your game. Okay, uh, the joysticks that I have with me right now, they have the, the same layout as uh, as PlayStation joysticks. You know, the L, R buttons and uh, analogs and all that. And uh, it's, it's, uh, they're, they're not that expensive. I just picked up a cheap pair because I'm not a big fan of uh, of uh, joysticks but I figured you know my, my games should have joystick support as well so yeah let's begin I have created a background and uh, a ground object and uh, our player and three other blocks the blocks are just gonna remain in the air I needed something for the player to collide with uh, so that's why I kept the blocks there. The player has a box collider 2D component and a rigid body 2D component attached to it. And I, I think that's, that's about it. We can begin. Okay, I will start by creating a script. Okay, I'm going to create two variables, two public float variables. One is called uh, X force and the other is Y force. X force will be controlling the speed of our object and Y force will control how high the object can jump. Jumping will come later on. For now, I'm just going to show you moving. Uh, moving. Yeah, yeah, moving left and right. Oh, also I'll create another variable temp. This is going to store the axis of of the input. I'm sorry, may maybe my terminology is wrong over there, but I'll type it. You'll see what I mean. So yeah, input dot get axis will get us a value of minus one. Uh, it'll get a get us a value between minus one and plus one, positive one. Uh, the value can be anywhere between that. Uh, this is for horizontal. This is in the case of uh, the horizontal axis. Um, I. I can't be sure about how it works with each and every axis, so that's why I'm not saying this is how it is with all the ax axes. But yeah, with horizontal, this is the case. So for example, if uh, I press uh, on my keyboard, if I press A to go left, or if I press the left arrow key to go left, uh, the value of temp will be minus one. And if I press right, or if I press D, then it will be positive one. Uh, now I'm going to use rigid body 2D dot add force, and I will use my temp variable in this. So how this works is, if the value of temp is minus one, it means the player is pressing left either on the keyboard or on the joystick um, and that value will be multiplied with x force which uh, let's say if it's 20 then then basically uh, force will be applied but 
towards a negative direction and so our player will move towards the left. Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to save the script and run it. Why is it not doing anything? Oh, I forget each and every time. Okay, I have to set the value for X force. Okay, something is still wrong. Yep, my bad. Don't let this confuse you. I'll get to this in in a minute. Just let me see if it works. Okay, so now when I'm pressing left or right on the keyboard, uh, the player is moving accordingly. And you can see when I'm pressing left, the value is minus one. And when I'm pressing right, the value is plus one. Okay. How is this working? Basically, I, uh, well, not, not I, uh, Unity comes with a few default axes. You can define your own axes as well, and uh, then you can get your games to control objects using those axes in whatever way you want. Uh, if, how, how do you get to the input manager? I forgot to tell that. Okay. You click edit, project settings, and input. And then the input manager will come and you see a list of axes over here. Uh, I'm not sure what the maximum size is, but currently these are the ones. And you can add your own as well. I'll do that later on. You'll notice there are duplicates over here. Duplicates of vertical, horizontal, Fire 1, Fire 2, Fire 3, even jump. Uh, the reason is this one has been configured for keyboard use, whereas this one has been con configured for joystick use. So I'm going to connect my joystick now, and because I have mentioned horizontal in input.get axis, so it it should work. Just a minute. Okay, I've I've connected my joystick to the to, to my laptop. I'm going to run the game now. Yep, it works. I'm controlling the object with the joystick's uh, left analog stick and it's working just fine. Now, I may not be able to give you like very detailed information about the input manager and all, all its parameters that you see over here, mostly because even when I tried to do the research, there were certain parameters that I couldn't understand, so I decided not to teach that. Uh, however, using this tutorial, if you have no idea what you're doing when it comes to joysticks and Unity, at least you'll be able to get started off with this. So yeah, let's continue. What should I do next? Okay, so we've got the movement handled and uh, you saw how I mentioned horizontal and uh, since there is a joystick connected so this horizontal was taken and it was used. Um, it's, it's actually very important to know these parameters because they can, they can help you out. Do your research and see what you can find out. Okay. Let's go back to the script. 
and now we are going to make our object jump our player jump for that I'm going to use input dot get button down instead of get key down and let's say fire one actually I think uh, get key down would work as well I'll test that later so now let's use get button down and yep rigid body 2d dot add force new vector 2 0 on the x axis but use the value of y force uh, along the y axis so it's going to apply a force on uh, in an upward direction <laughs> okay let's save the script and run okay before I run let me check fire one over here in this case is the mouse left left click left button in this case it's joystick button zero so if I press joystick button zero on my joystick is triangle yeah so if I press triangle on my joystick the object should uh, our player should jump let's see if that happens wait I think I haven't set the value for Y force. Yep. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Yep, it works. I'm using the joystick and I'm able to control, uh, I'm able to jump, I'm able to make the player jump. okay before I proceed I want to see if get key down works I don't think it should but let's see no doesn't work the movement works but when it comes to jumping it's not gonna work okay so yeah you need to use get button down oh saying fire one is unknown I think you can only use uh, key codes and get key down sorry about that okay let's change that back alright now you can see I've used presets over here there's horizontal there's fire one these are all presets they, they have been made by unity and given to us you can uh, you can create your own axis as well and you can use that as well for example I'm gonna type here abhi I haven't created abhi yet I'm gonna create it now change the size to 16 I get a new axis over here I call this Abhi and I can set the joystick button to oh. <coughs> okay I'll set it back to zero only you can you can set it to whatever you want I'm gonna set it back to zero and okay these values look too high I don't know if that's going to affect the performance or no, but let's see. Okay. Yes. Um, in order to make sure that your axis gets uh, input from the joystick, you have to click on uh, type and select joystick axis. And this, I believe, I think X axis is your left analog stick and and Y axis is your right analog stick. I'm not sure about that so don't take my word on it but uh, find out. 
joystick number. This is the prob probably the number of joystick joysticks that, that are connected to your system. Uh, I currently have two joysticks connected. So since get motion from all joysticks is selected, I can use either joystick to control my character. However, if I select joystick one, only one joystick is going to work. That's whatever joystick has been given the name joystick one. Am I missing anything here? No. Okay, so I've created an access name Abhi, name Abhi, and I'm using this axis in our code as well. So if we've done everything, if I've done everything right, it should work. Let's see. Nope, it's not working. Something is wrong. Let me change these values. Sorry about that, these values. This is a new axis that was created, so I guess that's why they set these values. I'm just going to copy the values from one of the other axes, from one, one of the other axes. 0 0.001. And three. Okay. Oh, wait. Was I using the wrong joystick? No. Okay. Sorry. I think I need to unplug my joystick and plug it back in. Okay, I'm not sure what's wrong, but I'm going to fix the problem and get back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, it took me some time to find out what was wrong, but uh, here's what I did wrong. I was supposed to select key or mouse button. Uh, not joystick axis. I thought it's supposed to be joystick axis because it's because you know I'm controlling a joystick. But apparently, when you <coughs> sorry, apparently when you're using the joystick buttons, you're supposed to select key or mouse button. So yeah, um, let's run the game and see if it works. There you go. As you can see, our player is able to jump. And I'm using Abhi uh, instead of Fire 1. So yeah, you can define your own axis and get it to behave in different ways. Um, you'll have to do research for that. Like I said, this is, it may not be the most detailed tutorial on how to use joysticks with your Unity games, but it will definitely help you if you are a beginner and have no idea what to do yeah it will it will help you out uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful don't forget to uh, wow I haven't done this for a month and I forgot what I'm supposed to say <laughs> uh, don't forget to share like share and subscribe yes don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave your comments below and I'll see you next time.